All right. How you doing, y'all? Andy McCabe here. Let's create an opening statement, shall we? For this example, I'm going to use the uh, ultimate opening statement that hopefully you received an email or received from a friend, right? That they emailed you, you got to use this thing. But here is how you get an opening statement from a Word document into Xactimate. All right, let's rock. I'm gonna just put my face right down in here. Here is your control panel, right? And back here is my Word file with my opening statement in it. So we're gonna start here. Go to your document modules down in model statements. You're gonna have, you're gonna come over here, right here and say add. Oh, let's get that window so it's a little more manageable, shall we? So like this, like that, bam. Okay, opening statements. This opening statement happens to use what's called tokens, and I'll get into that in a second. But let's get in here. Let's name this thing. Make sure you uh, put in the profile you want to use this for. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know how to make one available to multiple profiles, but I'm sure someone will show me, right? So I'm going to use the profile contractor because that's the one I spend the most of my time in. I'm going to call this the claims delegates one opening statement. And I'm going to come down in here. I've got a blank document. I'm going to move over to my Word file here. Control A is a uh, select all. Control C is a copy. Bring me back in here and boom. Okay, so I know, for instance, if when I went over and typed this thing up, that this bracket, h company underscore hdr underscore name, will automatically insert the name of the company that's listed in the header of your Xactimate document. If you don't have a company listed in the header of your Xactimate estimate that you're writing, this will be blank. The, all the other words will still be there, but that space will be blank. So just keep that in mind going forward. Okay, so let's let's look at this. How did I get this, this token? This is called a token in here. I went up here to this T, insert token, and I searched for what I wanted. Down in here is the contractor company header code. I don't want that. Company header information. Mm, don't need that right now. Company header name. That is what I used. Another token you're going to see right over here is the sum grand total. I like to put that on all my opening statements right up front. I don't like to hide the total of my estimate in the back pages. I don't want to have someone search for it. I want them to be able to open up the estimate and go boom. Okay, here's my total. How did I get to that total? All right, I'm gonna open up the rest of this thing. So down here under sum, where is it? Sum grand total, where is it? Sum grand total, that's the one I used, but that's already in here. So sometimes when you copy and paste, the spacing gets a little bit off. So I like to come in here and make sure, uh, let's just tidy that up. Uh, looks like that looks good, looks good and there we have it I'm going to save and exit and then that's in there so let's go use it let's open up let's open up an estimate I've got one that I mess around with all the time called sample project I just put a bunch of stuff in there uh, to play around with when someone asks me questions and whatnot and here it is Let's shrink this screen up for y'all. Bam, 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 boom, bam. You like those sound effects? And come over here and claim information, parameters. Here's your company header. Let's use a company header. Let's use a claims delegates company header. And model. Oh, guess what? I don't have access to the, the uh, opening statement I just made because I'm in the wrong profile, right? Cancel, save and exit. 
This is in the carrier profile, as you can see. So let's make a copy of that, duplicate it, call it sample one, come down here, call it contractor. Boom. Open back up. Back to claim info parameters. Opening statement, model opening statement. You can see it right there. Boom. Description of loss. Uh, if you're not using an opening statement like this, I highly suggest it. And then uh, let's say water loss from upstairs bathroom. And then blah, 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 blah. How is this thing going to look? Let's take a look. Let's print it. Mm-hmm. Abbreviated is fine. Let's view this bad boy. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Ba, 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 ba. There's my header, and boom, look at this. The following is not a contract, but a general overview of claims delegates policies. It inserted my company header information right into this. Claims delegates proposes to furnish in all materials, perform all the labor necessary for completion, blah, 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 blah. There you go. You have just created an opening statement. This happens to be my ultimate opening statement. I suggest you copy that sucker. Start using it. Any questions, give me a holler. Andy at claimsdelegates.com. Take care, y'all.